Hello YouTube friends, thanks for joining me for this bite-sized video. Now, oh, before I start... Ooh, now the video just wouldn't be the same without this little guy. Now, did you see what I did there? I put a selection of my favourite items on the table and they include some of my old cameras, uh, some really nice watches and uh, a bottle of Mr Armani, several bottles of Mr Armani and um, I made a little collection. Now, did you know you can do the same thing inside of Lightroom? You can take photographs, your favorite photographs from various folders and make a collection. Now, it's a really great thing to do. And in this Lightroom bite size video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, should we make a start? Yeah, let's go. To create a collection, we need to be in the library module. And if we jump across to the left-hand panel, we can see the collections tab. Now if I expand this window, I can see that we have no collections. We do have smart collections and these are created by Lightroom itself. Now we're not gonna take a look at those because we're interested in collections that we create. Now I'm simply gonna create two collections, one containing my favorite photographs taken in Liverpool and another collection with my favorite people shots. Now to do that, I'll just simply move across to this plus icon, click on it, and then select create collection. And this box will appear and it will allow me to name that uh, the particular collection. So this first one I'm gonna call Liverpool Faves. And I'm gonna make sure it's, one of the options I'm gonna select here is set as target collection. So just make sure you've got that selected and then hit create. Now jumping across to the collections window, I can see I've now created that new collection, Liverpool Faves, and it currently contains no photographs because we haven't added any yet. <laughs> so let's create a new collection. And again, just the plus icon, click on it, create a collection, and just do the same thing. This one I'm gonna call People Faves. Now this time I won't set it as the target look, uh, collection and you'll see why as we move along. So just for now, I'm gonna hit create and create that collection. And again, jumping across to the window on the left hand panel, I can see I have a new collection called People Faves and again, that contains no photographs because I haven't added any yet. So now let's go through the process of how we simply add photographs. There are a number of ways of selecting your photographs to drop into each particular collection. Um, let me just show you this though. If I just mouse over the people faves, a little cross appears. Now, if I just mouse over the people faves, no cross will appear. Now, what does that cross mean? That cross means that that collection of Liverpool faves is the target collection. And again, we're gonna come back to that a bit later, um, but that is really important. Um, uh, target collections and you'll see why very shortly. First of all, let me just show you a very easy way of just popping a photograph into the target collection. Just simply select a photograph, make sure it's active and then just click and drag and then pop it into that folder. And I can see now that folder has now got one photograph, which is the one I've just dragged across. Now this is not my favorite way of adding photographs to a collection. It's very easy to drag. If you have a lot of collections, it's very easy to drag a photograph over and put it in the, you know, the incorrect folder. You know, you might just drop it and it lands in a different folder, collection folder. We don't want to do that. So I prefer to use the shortcut. So let me just show you how easy it is then. This particular photograph, I would like that to be in the target collection Remember, this is the target collection and the little cross should appear very shortly. It's not going to, there you go. <laughs> I know that that's the target collection. So with this photograph selected, I just simply hit the letter B on the keyboard. Now watch what happens. A little dialogue, piece of dialogue come up on the screen to confirm that that particular photograph has been added to the target collection. So here we go, press the letter B add to target collection Liverpool faves. And you can see that folder now contains two images. So you can quite quickly go through your images just pressing 
the letter B. So let's change folders then. And um, let's go to Liverpool from the ferry. And I could look at these shots and I can also, you know, obviously go into the loop view, which we press the letter E for that. So I can see, you know, the image in, in larger detail and be more specific with what I want to add to the target collection. So this one, for instance, perhaps may, I may want to uh, add this to the collection and I can just simply hit again the letter B and that will go into Liverpool faves. I can change my folder. Let's go to Liverpool at night. I really like that shot. So that's going to go into my faves. Let's come across. I like this one. And again, press the letter B. Now, you don't have to be in the loop view. Obviously, you can be in the grid view to do it. It doesn't really matter. Let's go to Liverpool Street. Now, for instance, imagine I wanted this shot. Now, I'm going to use command click for this, but it's command or control if you've got a PC. So I have this one selected. I may want to add that one too. Um, I really like that one. And again, I'm just using command or control click to select these photographs. I like that one uh, and that one. Right, I won't do too many, but now I have a number of photographs selected there and I'll just simply again hit letter B on the keyboard. And they've now all been added to the target collection. Let me just see, is it work right? I won't add any more. I will just go back to the collections itself. And I can see there's now 11 photographs in that collection. And that's really cool, isn't it? If I press on it and select it, I can see now that I have a collection of photographs from different folders, all living in the one collection. And that's reflected in the film strip at the bottom. Now, if I jump over to the develop module, you can see that that is now reflected in the develop module too. Those particular photographs in that Liverpool faves collection are all along the film strip along the bottom. Now, if we look over here on the left hand panel, you can see that we've now lost our folders. Now, folders are only available in the library module and they're not visible in the develop module. So if I wanted access to photographs from another folder, I would have to click back into the library module and select that particular folder. Now, this is another great reason why we create collections, because as I say, because we lose access to our folders, um, we never lose access to our collections. Now, just expanding this and you imagine I have if I had a, a, a great number of collections, I can just jump between them. So with that said, let's go back to the library module and start to populate this people faves collection. Okay, back in the library module, let's select a folder. Now I'm gonna select this rebel rebel folder, which contains uh, people shots that I took in the studio many years ago. Now in the collections tab, if I just open this little collections tab, I can see that um, we've got our Liverpool faves there and our people faves. Now remember, I need to make this people faves collection the target collection. Now to do that, simply right click on it and set it as the target collection. Now you need to do that to use the shortcut letter B, which will you know automatically put the shots in the right collection as long as it's set to the target collection. And remember I said earlier, a little cross appears to let you know that that is the particular target collection. Now you can simply just drag and drop into the correct collection like I showed you earlier, um, but it's always good practice to make sure you have your particular collection set as the target collection. It makes things a lot easier. Now again, now I, I can just move through this selecting shots by simply hitting the letter B and that will go into the target collection, which is people faves, simple as that. Let's get one, let's get uh, that one in, I like that one. And again, I'm just randomly selecting these shots. You would take your time to do this. Let's pop that one in as well. Now, jump back to the folders. I can now go to this uh, another folder, this Sarah folder, and select some shots from there as well. I like that one. Simply hit the letter B. And uh, yeah, just go through your shots that way. Uh, change the folder again. I'm going to nip to the Sophie folder and um, select a couple of these shots. I like that one. And again, I'm just randomly selecting these shots. 
you would take more time to do this. Um, there you go. I'll just pop a few more in. Let's pop that one in. So they're all now in the People Faves collection. So opening this window, I can see that in People Faves, I have nine shots. And if I click on it, those nine shots, all from different folders, are now living in the same collection. And again, jumping across to the Develop module, that is now reflected in this, in this uh, timeline at the bottom. Uh, and I can jump between shots. And again, now on the left-hand side in the Collections section in this panel, we can jump between collections. Now, this is fantastic. So not only am I jumping between uh, collections, but I am able to view photographs that would belong in different folders. And again, like I mentioned earlier, we've lost the folders on this side. We've lost the ability to change folders, but we will always have uh, access to the collections, uh, which is fantastic, isn't it? So that is collections, all very simple, isn't it? And um, it's a great thing to do. And like I say, because you do lose access to your folders panels in the uh, develop module, it's a great thing to do to sort of make sure that on that timeline, you've always got access to the photographs that you want to work on if they're contained in different folders. Ah, so there you have it. Collections, the great aren't they? Very simple to do. And I highly recommend you do it because as I said in the video, you actually lose access to your folders once you jump into the develop module. We don't want that happening, do we? So listen, if you like the video, stick a little thumbs up, please subscribe. Um, click on the little bell icon to be notified of further videos. Do everything that every other YouTuber asks you to do, but do it twice as hard for me. Right, thanks very much for watching and take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next upload. Take a photograph.